Below is a figure of a cylinder inscribed in a sphere of any radius. For our problem, the radius of the sphere is 8. So we can have this equal 8. And that means that this is going to equal the square root of 64 minus h squared. Now remember, the height of the cylinder is actually 2 times h, but it's just so much easier to not work with fractions. So let's just remember that the cylinder height is 2 of our h's. Okay? So um, the volume of a cylinder is pi r, this is the radius of the cylinder, which is our square root of 64 minus h squared. That's our radius for our cylinder. Pi r squared h. Now, our, this h should actually be 2h. Remember, because the height of the cylinder is 2 of these h's. Okay, so that means that we have 2 times pi times h times the square root of 64 minus h squared, whoops, minus h squared. I'm not sure that I needed this squared. Pi r squared. Yeah, here's our r. Okay. And so here's the equation for the volume of a cylinder. And now we need to find the volume of H that maximizes the volume of the inscribed cylinder. And so um, what we would do in calculus is we would take a derivative and set it equal to zero. But instead, we're going to graph this. Now, when you square a square root, see this is a square root, and this is a square, they undo each other. And so what you have is 2 pi h times 64 minus h squared. And when you graph that, you get, oh, so that's, anyway, when you graph that, you get this. And it turns out, if you use calculus on this, that this number is eight or the square root of three, and this number is negative eight over the square root of three. But the problem suggests that we approximate it to two decimal places, and so this is our h that gives us the maximum volume. So here's our volume formula in H's and the H that gives us the max volume was four, I forgot, 0.62 
the magnum of the cylinder is what we get when we plug that h in. So this is 2 pi times 4.62 times 64 minus 4.62 squared. And so this whole thing, if we do the parentheses first, is 64 minus 4.62 squared. And and then we multiply that by 4.2 times 2 times pi. And I get that the maximum volume is 1, 2, 3, 8.22. And since we are in inches, that's going to be cubic inches. And so this would be our Last answer. Okay, yeah, I think we've answered the whole thing.